Hey guys, Jimmy314 here, and our channel just hit 50 subscribers, which I never thought would happen. So why not celebrate with an awesome guide on how to get more kills to help you awesome players raise your kill-death ratios. So for the first celebration tip, you want to keep moving those legs and rush around the map to pick off unsuspecting players easily. When you rush, you always seem to find exposed enemy players who never have fast reaction times which can lead to a killing spree. You also gain a sense of dominance since you get more action by demolishing enemy players while running around. You can see here that Russian can get you easy kills on players who are attempting to find camping spots. And for the love of Phantom Forces, don't be this guy, you'll look and perform terrible. To have a bit more fun, watch this clip carefully and think to yourself what is wrong after I throw the grenade. Seems normal, right? Check the kill feed. Yep, that's a headshot. But anyways, back to the guide. The best part is rushing will improve your reaction time when encountering enemy players since you are constantly exposed to an enemy that can appear at any time. If you learn how to rush properly, you will find yourself getting more kills before you know it. Just remember not to rush on the open since it makes you an easy target. That was the first celebration tip, here's the second. The second celebration tip is always keeping in mind where enemy players will spawn in certain maps. If you learn how to estimate where enemy players will spawn, you'll be rewarded with easy kills since every player has the nature to believe they're safe when they barely spawn. This is one of those skills that separates a casual player to an enemy eliminating monster. However, it takes time to develop so don't rush yourself. That was celebration tip 2, and here comes tip 3. For celebration tip 3, position yourself correctly while on and off combat. Observe as I use the wall for cover instead of exposing myself to enemy fire. It's a fast and simple tip, but remembering it will save crucial hit points which can ultimately get you more kills. Tip 4 is learn the limitations of each weapon family type. For example, you shouldn't waste time shooting an SMG at long range combat. If you want more kills with it, you would know that you would have to rush and close the distance because a great player always knows how to account for the gun's limitations. If you learn how to compensate for your ideal weapon, you will climb to the top of the leaderboard in no time. And finally, Tip 5 is perfect practice makes perfect. You may have heard the old saying that practice makes perfect, but this isn't valid if you don't integrate tips 1 through 4 perfectly. You will not get better no matter how long you play. However, don't forget to have fun. Some may struggle to do these tips, but the point in playing Phantom Forces is to get better while having fun. If you're not having fun, think of what you can do differently so you can create fun. And that wraps up all the tips, but let's talk about stuff. I appreciate all of you guys who sub and leave comments that I can respond to. Communicating with you guys so you can get better is a great interaction to go through that many don't get to experience at all, and I'm glad to have that privilege. You guys are the driving force that motivates me to continue putting out content that is very enjoyable to produce. In a nutshell, you're all awesome for even taking time to watch my videos, and I really thank you guys for that. You don't have to, but it would be awesome if you guys can like, comment, and if you're new, subscribe so I can achieve my goal of aiding our amazing Phantom Forces community. Thanks for celebrating 50 subs with me guys, I'm Jeremy314 and I'll see you guys